Man United can complete transfer for Dream Lenny Euro partner as vital preseason decision made. Manchester United transfer news with the latest on Lenny Euro, Trevo Chalaba, and Jaden Sancho. Two friendlies down, three to go for Manchester United, many more transfers in the process. Plus, the glorified curtain raiser, even if it is against Manchester City, there is a way to go yet for Eric Ten Hag before he is back in Premier League action. The Dutchman may well be thankful for that too. There is lots of work to do to his squad in terms of arrivals and departures. There are also just over five weeks left to do it in as well. United's first domestic game is in three weeks, and still there is a wait for the squad to get together in full and get down to business. That is simply the way things fall when international tournaments take up summertime, but it doesn't make matters much easier for head coaches. As for Ten Hag, he will be pleased with the amount of change to his squad so far. It is only too obvious just how much still needs to happen in order for things to get to an ideal place ahead of the new league season. Here, United Inside looks at the latest rumors circulating for how United might go about doing just that. Trevo Chalaba available. Around six weeks after being linked to Manchester United, in reports that were largely born of the Mauricio Pochettino speculation at the time, Trevo Chaloba is a realistic target once again. It is claimed that after his surprise exclusion from the Chelsea preseason tour squad, United could make of the Blues are reportedly after between $25 to $35 million depending on which outlet you look at. Previously, they have accepted $25 million from Nottingham Forest, but have also asked for $50 million for both Conor Gallagher and Armando Broja. Chelsea are willing to sell Chaloba this summer as they look to cash in on him, despite only tying him down to a fresh six-year contract, with an option to go to 2029 in 2022. Although he is allegedly feeling like the club are forcing him out, Chaloba is in no rush to leave unless an ideal destination is found. He would like to play Champions League football. News says this is going to be a bargain for someone. And with United being in the centre-back market, why not make it them? With Premier League and European experience, Chaloba offers plenty as a 25-year-old. At this price, you really can't go wrong. He is able to play in defensive midfield and at right back when needed and is just as good in the air as he is on the ground and spraying passes. Chalaba has pace to recover and is tactically astute having already operated under numerous managers in his career to date. Given the cost of some others on the market and historically with Ben White costing 50 million, this is a deal to be looked at. Given United could end up signing as many as three center halves, Chaloba as likely the cheapest option out of them would be a wise pickup. He is durable and would not directly impede the progress of Lenny Yoro, but offer a great teammate to help him out and complement his abilities at the same time. It's a no-brainer. Sancho still up for sale. Despite Ten Hag signaling his intentions to welcome Jaden Sadden back into the fold this preseason, indicated by the player being included in the USA Tour squad, it is suggested that he could still leave this summer. According to ESPN, offers of $40 million would still be considered for him. It is claimed that not only would United be happy to see him go, they have gone as far as offering him out to Paris Saint-Germain. French outlet L'Equipe add that he is close to agreeing personal terms with the League One giants. United expect him to play a full part in their summer preparations, though. Sancho has been training with his side, but didn't feature against Rangers in the first friendly played. He did get minutes during the 1-0 win over Rangers last week. News says it would be poor practice for United not to keep their options open in the coming weeks. Even if Sancho is back in the fold, it has been widely speculated that almost every player is available for sale anyway at the right price. Having that number in mind and being active in their recruitment is smart then. Sancho has the chance to prove himself before the season kicks off, but if there are interested parties, then learning where they stand only makes sense. Sancho is going to be up against it to get himself ample minutes as a regular starter, so having an alternative plan for things going south again is logical. For now, there is a commitment to patching things up in preseason, but it would be foolish to not be at least aware of the other possible outcomes.
Meanwhile, in other news, Manchester United transfer target makes feelings clear after £25 million offer tabled. Manchester United tabled a £25 million offer for Barcelona youngster Fermin Lopez in a bid to lure him away from his childhood club, but the overture was rejected. Remaining at Barcelona is the clear wish of Manchester United target Fermin Lopez, a revelation that comes as a major blow in the Red Devils' ongoing pursuit of the midfielder. United tabled an offer of £25 million for Lopez recently, but saw their offer duly rejected by Barcelona. The Catalan Giants told United that any possibility of speaking with the highly rated 21-year-old would require an irrefutable bid, adding that their overture of £25 million would require significant improvement. Lopez cut himself an appealing prospect with Barcelona this season, playing 31 matches and scoring eight goals in an impressive breakout season. The midfielder has the versatility to play on the wing and as a no-10, with plenty of praise afforded to his technical and creative abilities. While Lopez was given his break under former Barcelona boss Xavi Hernandez, new manager Hansi Flick reportedly has plans in place for the midfielder next season, while the club view him as an integral part of their short- and long-term plans. The Spanish international, who is currently away with Luis de la Fuente's national side at Euro 2024, has called Barcelona home since he was young and has made it clear he has no intention of departing anytime soon. Speaking to Mundo Deportivo about a potential contract extension with the Spanish side, Lopez said, I'd be happy to sign new deal at Barca. This club is my dream since I was a kid. I hope to stay at Barcelona for many years. It's my clear wish. For United, the comments from Lopez could mark another blow in their pursuit of the midfield starlet. With the managerial saga ensconcing manager Eric Ten Hag, United can now push on with their summer transfer plans. The Red Devils are set for a busy summer, with recruitment needed across the park. Midfield is one area in particular in need of bolstering. Casemiro, Christian Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes have all been linked with moves away from the theater of dreams, while Sofian Amrabat's loan deal is unlikely to be made permanent though the Moroccan international has insisted he could remain at Old Trafford. United were eyeing Lopez as a viable recruitment option to keep in line with their approach of signing young talent. Lopez was believed to have a skill set that would complement the qualities of 19-year-old England midfielder Kabi Mainu, who also impressed in his respective breakthrough season. However, United will now need to consider the pros and cons of submitting a second bid to match Barcelona's evaluation, or if attention must be turned elsewhere. Manchester United made a significant move by tabling a £25 million offer for Barcelona youngster Fermin Lopez, signalling their intent to secure promising young talent. The bid was aimed at enticing Lopez away from his childhood club, highlighting United's ambition to strengthen their squad with emerging stars. However, Barcelona swiftly rejected United's overture, indicating their determination to retain Lopez and nurture his development within their ranks. The rejection underscores Barcelona's commitment to their youth academy and their belief in Lopez's potential as a future asset for the club. For Manchester United, the unsuccessful bid reflects their strategy of targeting young talents with potential to bolster their squad in the long term. While the offer was turned down, it demonstrates United's proactive approach in the transfer market and their willingness to invest in promising players who can make an impact in the future. The pursuit of Fermin Lopez by Manchester United underscores the competitive nature of modern football transfer dealings, where clubs vie for talented prospects to secure their future success. The pursuit of Fermin Lopez by Manchester United underscores the competitive landscape of modern football transfers, where clubs strategically vie for talented prospects to strengthen their squads and secure future success. In today's footballing world, identifying and acquiring promising young players like Lopez is crucial for clubs aiming to build sustainable success. These prospects often represent both immediate potential and long-term value, offering clubs the opportunity to develop them into key players who can shape the team's fortunes for years to come. 
Manchester United's £25 million offer for Lopez exemplifies their proactive approach in the transfer market, targeting young talents with high potential. Such moves not only reflect the club's ambition to enhance their squad, but also highlight the intense competition among top clubs to secure the brightest prospects before they reach their peak.